Hi everyone, this is Kelly Noble with Campbell Homes, and today I'm going to show you a little um, software that I use called TweetDeck, which is kind of my social media networking lifesaver. Um, today I went to a networking event that had Kevin Knebel, and if you don't know about Kevin Knebel, I recommend that you check out his website, www kevinknebel.com and one of the things he said that made a lot of sense to me he was talking about Twitter is that if you get onto Twitter it's a great tool but it's like buying a Mercedes with square tires so TweetDeck is like buying the same Mercedes and having round tires it just is so much nicer it's so much cleaner so the first thing you want to do is go over to tweetdeck.com that's T-W-E-E-T-D-E-C-K dot com, just like on the bottom here. And this is the page that you're going to see. This is where you're going to learn about TweetDeck. And you can also get it on your iPhone if you happen to have an iPhone. You can do multiple personalities. So if you have several different um, names for your different accounts, you know, if you have a personal account and you also have a business account, it's a great way to be able to keep track of everything. Um, and you can keep in sync. Everything can be connected to each other. So what you're going to do is go over here to the download now. Um, it is a free service. It is going to download to your desktop. So it is software on your desktop, but it makes it very easy to use. It's very clean and it's not going to make your browser run slow. So that's what that looks like. Now I'm going to open up my TweetDeck so you can see what, what it looks like when you actually open up TweetDeck. This is my TweetDeck. You can see I have um, several different options here as far as my columns. In the first column over here, are all my friends that I follow, um, that Campbell Holmes follows. And so I'm getting all of their updates, and I can also see my updates. And then when, every time Campbell Holmes is mentioned, um, I'll be over here in the mention column. And then this is my Facebook status, my friends for all my Facebook status, which is another great feature that you can actually consolidate your tweets and your Facebook updates all in one place. It just makes it very clean. Um, further over, I have my direct messages, and you can actually customize all of these columns. You could take certain ones out if you don't care much about them, or you can add them. Um, I'm going to kind of go through these features up at the top real quick. The first feature is going to be the tweet feature. That's the most important. And you can see from up here, I do have multiple accounts added to this. I have my Campbell Holmes account, my Noble One 24-7, which is my personal account, and I have my Facebook account for... Um, Campbell Holmes. Now what's this, what this allows you to do is um, say I want to type something, let's say um, recording a video about TweetDeck. Okay, so I want to post this to my Campbell Holmes um, account for Twitter and also my Campbell Holmes Facebook. So I just click on that and it's going to go ahead and click um, I just click either enter or I click on this here and it's going to update both my Facebook and it's going to update my Twitter. As you can see, it just came up right here, recording a video about TweetDeck. So it's a really great way of keeping everything updated at the same time. Um, another feature is the shorten URL. Many of you who are on Twitter are familiar with uh, uh, tinyurl.com. Well, this actually makes it so you don't even have to go to an outside website to do that. It'll actually do it for you. So you can actually do www.campbellhomes.com. You go over to the little shorten button and it's going to automatically shorten it for you and put it into your, your uh, place where you're going to put your text. Since I already sent one, that's not necessary right now. Um, and then you can see up here, I have the little notifications that come up. You can actually close down this whole system and those notifications will still come up and keep you up to date. So what I recommend is when you do download this, you come in in the morning, just open it up and shrink it down to the bottom of your screen. You know, see, I have all these programs, a lot of stuff down here. And, um, and that way you can stay in the loop of what's going on. The next one is, um, this is all your friends. It'll kind of let you know, well, this is um, my friends for my personal side. And then I also have my friends for Campbell Homes. So it allows me to um, connect with all those people. And then I can delete a column if I like. Um, I already have my mentions set up. My direct messages, I already have that set up. You can create favorites. You can create groups of people that you really like. Um, you can actually see what TweetDeck recommends for as far as you to follow. Um, one of my favorite features is the Twitter search. Um, let's say I want to see what people are saying about Campbell Homes. So I'm going to put in my little hash. 
hash thing and put Campbell Holmes, just how I want it searched. I want it searched as one word. And it's going to maybe take a couple minutes for that to load. But this is great because we do a lot of uh, webinars where people want to chat about things. For instance, one of the uh, hashtags that we use is um, Builder, uh, let's see, Online Sales Counselor, OSC. This is one that we use when we do different chat different chat um, webinars. And you can see everyone who has this um, this hashtag, and you can see I've made a lot of conversation there, but anyone with this hashtag can follow that conversation. So you can actually really chat about things. This was all during a webinar, so we were able to share ideas. It's a great feature. Um, tweet scoop will just kind of give you a lowdown of what's going on, what are the big words. Um, the bigger the word, the more uh, you, you'll see it in updates. And then, um, Oops, sorry, I don't use that one. Um, tweet stock is another another way that you can kind of see what everyone's up to, what's being said, and then you have your Facebook um, ad status updates, which I already have set up. So it's really that easy. Another great feature here is you can actually um, delete. Like I said before, you can move a column over, you can move it back over this way. Um, you can really customize TweetDeck. So I highly recommend that you check out www.tweetdeck.com and download this feature, or at least check it out and see what you think, because it really is a great feature if you would like to just have a really clean, uh, user-friendly way of not only tweeting, but updating and following what's going on on your Facebook account. I hope you found this information helpful. Please share this with your friends, comment when possible, and check us out online, Campbell Holmes at CampbellHolmes.com. Also, you can check out my blog at the Colorado Girl blog.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, Kelly Noble, the internet concierge and all around social media geek for Campbell Holmes at knoble at CampbellHolmes.com. Thanks again.